Hi there friends, happy birthday. We are continuing the beginning of 2024 with a bang because of what's inside this box. This is not a mystery box, but it is a new Airsoft product that I've been dying to check out for about a year now since I saw it last SHOT Show. Any guesses on what it is? You're gonna have to find out in a moment because I'm about to tear through this tape. As you can see, still sealed. It says, check contents if seal broken. I don't have to check contents because seal's not broken yet, but it will be because I'm using the foot off of our coffee table. Yeah, sure, it might be a little uneven right now, but it's for the greater good. And I'm gonna rip into this tape with this little foot and find out what's in here. I already know, but I don't think you do. Unless they looked in the thumbnail or read the title. Okay, maybe you do know. This tape is no match for coffee table foot. Not gonna lie, I'm pretty excited to see what's in here. This says it's fragile. I hope not. But we're into it. Coffee table foot's gonna go back on the coffee table. Time to get in to the box. Let's look at the overhead shot. We're gonna open up this to see. Ooh, there it is. There it is, right there. Time to get it out of the box. And we are met with yet another box, but this one I don't have to tear into with the foot of my coffee table because it just has tabs. If you haven't already guessed, this is the Elite Force M3 Carl Gustav launcher. Right inside we see some foam. We're gonna move that. There it is, in all of its glory, a giant, Airsoft launcher. Oh jeez. Time to slide it out of the plastic. And there is another box in here. Let's grab that. And then we can get rid of this. It stands up pretty decently on its own. Before we get into looking at it, I want to see what's in this box first. Okay, it looks like we have an instruction manual. We don't read. And a sight. There's also another compartment. That's the ball. Mm. What is the ball for, you ask? Ball in. We've got two plastic balls in here. This is what you shoot out of the launcher. You fill it with BBs, you close it up, and you poof, And whatever it shoots, poof, gets splattered with BBs. They do have spares of these, as well as spares of the gas reservoir rocket. But we don't need those right now. I just want to shoot these. And here is the Picatinny rail for the sight. It is full metal, has an adjustment knob. You can put some optics right up here. Cause you know, when you're shooting a rocket launcher, you need some optics. This does go right on the side right here. You just loosen it and lock it in. Tighten it up again. Now that's on there pretty solid. And now you can mount whatever optics you want on there. There is a functional safety right over here. Hard to see, but that's fire. Then that's safety. And when you're ready, you just go just once though, it's not semi-auto. That would be cool. This thing is primarily made out of polymer, but there are a few metal bits. I also like the flip out sight right here on the side. That is polymer as well. It does have a rifled barrel, you know, just in case. And now we have to check out the rocket. You pull down on this, you push over on that, and it opens up. Then you turn and open the cap, and inside is, ooh, that's a big one, that's what she said. This is the gas reservoir for the launcher. You load the gas in here, it hits that and shoots, pretty much just like every other airsoft launcher you've seen, except on a grander scale. There are three options on this back cover plate. You have open, then you turn once to safe, and then you turn to lock it in for fire. Fire is when you would go ahead and click that in, then you'd be good to go. But this is the entire rocket itself. Let's set that down. Let's get the plastic off of it. So I showed you how to load the gas into it, but this, this is where the ball comes out. So you would fill up this ball with BBs and then put it in there nice and snug. Then you would load it into the rear. That's what she said. <laughs> and if you've already put in the gas like I showed you, it would be good to go. Speaking of which, I feel like I'm good to go outside and launch this at a few things. The only thing I don't wanna do is lose the balls because then I'll have to get more. So the important part is to not lose the balls. Few moments later. Don't lose the ball, I said. Let's go. <clears throat> okay, we're outside with this big thing. First, we gotta put some gas in it. All right, I think that's pretty well charged. Now we gotta fill the balls, load the gas container. Now we gotta put the lid in. We're gonna load it up, turn it to fire, 
lock and load. Ready to give this thing a shot. Safety is off. It's a little cold, but I think we can get some distance. Here we go. Whoo! Don't lose the ball, I said. Just don't lose half of the ball. Well, there's one half. I'll have to look around and find the other half. Can't believe I lost half of the ball. There it is. <clears throat> Part of the ball did break. That sucks. Part of the little lip broke off. The thing that holds it on. So I don't like that these balls are easy to lose and they seem a little breakable. I also wish that it shot tag rounds, but oh well. All right, time to go back inside. <laughs> that was really fun. Like I said, I've been anticipating this release ever since I saw it last year at SHOT Show. I'm here at the Elite Force booth at SHOT Show 2023 and we're looking at the Carl Gustav. It's pretty much a big launcher and it's gonna shoot these balls filled with BBs. I call it the Wonder Ball because you're gonna wonder why you got hit. Once I saw it, I fell in love. I think I need to use this in some CQB gameplay pretty soon because who doesn't want to come around a corner and see this pointed directly at them? I think it would be pretty funny. Maybe my opponents wouldn't. That's their problem. And like I said before, you can get spare rockets. That means you can get this entire thing, you can get spare balls. Imagine running around with a backpack full of these and you just reload every time and boom! Yeah, your enemies would not enjoy that. The details on this thing are pretty intense. But hey, have you seen one of these on the field? Have you seen it used anywhere? I actually saw one of these get used at an event one time as a patch cannon. <laughs> They shot patches out into the crowd. It's a good idea. Maybe I should pack it with patches and shoot them at people in a game. Maybe they'd call their hit if they get free items. Would you get this? Would you use this? This currently goes for about 700. Do you think it's worth that to use something like this? I could totally see it being used in something like Milsim. Taking out technicals, that makes a lot of sense to me. But if you don't feel like paying 700 for one of these, you're in luck. Check the pinned comment to see how you can get one for free. Yeah, that's all you gotta do. Then you can have one just like me and use it. Maybe not in CQB like me because fields don't like that. I just have friends that don't mind getting blasted by weird things. But that's it for the overview of the Carl Gustav M3 from Elite Force. What did you think? Let me know down below. Also, give me some ideas of what I should shoot with this. If you say it, maybe I'll put it up as a short or put it up on TikTok. Or maybe I'll just blow up something for fun. But now that you've sat all the way through this video, it's time to prove it. Someone is going to ask you a question and that question is would you rather go to the bottom of the ocean or outer space and why one of those doesn't end well for billionaires assuming like everything goes good oh okay anyway. stipulation is you'll be fine ocean space i think i'd pick space probably space just because there's a lot of it i would see some of it just a little Plus, I like to go out and look up at the stars sometimes. I made my own constellation one time. It's the piece of pizza. See if you can find it. All right, everybody, that's it. Don't forget to like this if I made you laugh, because I'll do it again, and find us on all the other social medias. And if you only use YouTube, maybe you have $4.99 a month to spare to get more content, because we have a members program. There's a lot of really cool people over there hanging out. You get a bonus video at least once a week, if not more, plus other benefits, too. And one of those benefits is I pick one channel member every week from the comment section of the secret members only video and I read their name right here. Just like CPM1888, also known as Charles. Fun fact, Charles is a witch who can predict things and you would know that if you were a member. So if you want your name right here like CPM, all you gotta do is find the members program, sign up and you're good to go. You get to watch the members content which is pretty funny and you get to comment on it and one of those comments gets their name right here. All right, I made a terrible mess off to the side and I've got to go get cleaning because it's a short six days until the next video. What do you think? I just lounge around all day doing nothing? No, I got plenty of boxes sitting there waiting to be ripped into. I have to go clean up and get ready to do this all over again. I hope I will see you guys in the comment section of this one and everyone after that. And what you didn't notice is the rocket is missing. That's because I loaded it and I'm about to blast the camera with it. Are you ready, camera? <laughs> I didn't really shoot the camera because I learned my lesson with the t-shirt cannon.